so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are exploring nvidia's best gpus the most popular ones that one should know about we would be also talking about the nvidia gpu timeline where they have introduced the interesting architectures from time to time so let's get started so first of all let's talk about the gpu architecture evolution in nvidia so it all started with pascal in 2016 which was the gtx 10 series if you remember it doesn't support transformers what i know hence uh, it became obsolete quite easily next came was turing in 2018 which is the rtx 20 series which introduced ray tracing ampere series came in 2020 which was the rtx 30 series and a100 data center so a100 is one of the most reliable gps for data centers and for llm pre-training it's an enterprise level gpu other was introduced in 2022 which introduced us to the most popular gpus right now that is rtx 4090 series and then blackwell architecture came in quite recently which introduced h200 alongside rtx 5090 so this was the gpu architecture evolution in nvidia now let's talk about the most popular product here that is RTX 4090 which is everyone's favorite as you can see it has a fourth generation tensor cores and third generation RT cores so if you don't know tensor cores are majorly do the heavy lifting in AI task well RT cores are majorly for gaming rendering DLSS is a sort of a framework which is used for deep learning mathematical calculations right so the architecture followed here is ADA Lovelace architecture and the price is about 2.3k which is quite affordable and given the performance any day you can take it up. It comes in a variant of 24GB and the CUDA cores are 16,000 CUDA cores. Now coming to the next most popular consumer grade series that is RTX 30 series. Here you can see that we have multiple variants 3060, 3070, 3080 and 3090. Here you can see that how the increment is happening in CUDA cores also and in terms of the price also. So the price, the lowest being $330 which is quite low for a GPU of this quality. The 30 series is one of the most reliable series I would say and most of the folks have been using this one only. It has comprising of third generation tensor cores and second generation RT cores compared to the RTX 40 series that we just uh, discussed later earlier where it was a fourth generation tensor cores and third generation rt cores it follows the ampere architecture i'm not jumping into the details of the architecture but just take it as a brief information the next one is the data center a100 i think it's one of the best and most reliable enterprise level gpu uh, for us it's just not affordable as you can see the price it's about 10 to 15 k dollars it's about 8 to 10 lakhs so mostly individuals won't have it if you want to try it out you can try it on clouds but that also it would be quite costly for you the variants here you can see are 40 gb and 80 gb and it's one of the fastest as mentioned 20 times faster than v100 it's a very old gpu to be honest but still one of the best for enterprise level the next we are talking about is H100. This is a GPU that you might be hearing a lot in research papers because most of the enterprise train their LLMs on H100 GPU. This is one of the most reliable and the most powerful GPUs that we have so far following the hopper architecture and it is about two times faster than A100 as mentioned and it is optimized for LLMs. That's the best part. It gives you a 9 cross speed, 30 cross speed on inferencing and energy efficiencies for 4 cross which is great but it's very very expensive. Now here you can see that the information about the Blackwell architecture which is still not completely released. Uh, it is really getting released in batches. Here you can see that the first GPU is H200. It also comprises of the 5090 series but I haven't covered it in this particular presentation. And it is especially targeted for LLMs, Generative AI, Next Gen Supercomputers and Scientific Computing. It is about 1.5 to 2 times faster than H100. 
I think in my previous video, I have covered the comparison between H200 versus H100. You can definitely check it out. Now, this is the final slide where we compare all the most popular GPUs so far. I haven't included the Blackwell series for now because information that I feel is not enough for me to compare them. But the most popular products are here. The two uh, major giants in the consumer section that is RTX 4090 and RTX 3090 while A100 and H100 excels in the enterprise level. Here you can see a comparison of the four GPUs in terms of performance and you can understand how powerful is H100. So with this, it's a wrap. If you are an enthusiast, I for RTX 4090 or RTX 3090, depending upon your budget. But if you are from an enterprise, you're looking for your company, A100 and H100 are the best solution. Thank you so much.